hello and welcome programmers so how are you all in this video we are going to talk about a programming interview practice question that is to rotate a number okay guys so as you can see here it is a number that is 562984 okay so if we do plus 2 on this number what should it return it should return 845629 okay so and in the other digit that is if we do plus 3 so these last three digits if you can see that these are coming to the first position first three positions and the other digits are behind that okay so basically what is your input format for this so input format consists of your number that is this part and your rotation value that is this part okay so that might be 3 4 5 6 or that might be any negative numbers so for now we would be considering positive cases and in the next coming slides we would be talking about negative numbers also okay so basically what is the solution approach if you can see here we see that 562984 after doing 2 the last two digits are shifted to the first side okay so what what to do step 1 follow the step 1 step 1 says that divide this number by 100 see because if we divide this number as by 100 we get this part as the quotient 5629 as the quotient as well as if we do modulo by this number that is the step 2 it we would be getting 84 as the remainder okay and we wanted 84 we want 84 to be at the first position first two positions of the number or the starting position of the number that can be said okay so now we have the quotient and remainder when we calculate this we would be getting this quotient and a remainder as uh, 84 okay so now if we multiply 84 by 10000 and add this quotient to this value we would be getting our answer okay so the question is how to get this 10000 as the value okay so if we see clearly the quotient value that is the number of digits in the quotient is 4 okay and similarly the number of zeros in this number is also 4 so this is 10000 okay so this counts to 4 so we can do this see for example for example see we have a number 5 6 2 9 8 and 4 first calculate the number of digits after that we would be finding the two numbers uh two things that is first is the divisor and other is the multiplier okay and after that we would be getting this specified number don't worry we would be coding this also so stay connected as well as a similar question has been put by us only but that question would consist of your array okay in that question we did the rotations of an array so link would be provided in the i button you can check that program also might get an understanding of how to solve such type of questions okay so what if there is a negative value of k as i told you before if it is minus 2 see so the first two digits are at the end okay so that is the minus 2 see if that let us assume that k is our rotation value this value minus 2 is k and the number of digits is 5 obviously 2 5 3 9 8 there are five number of digits so if we do k plus number of digits that is how much we are doing minus 2 plus 5 which is equal to 3 simple as is done here so if we see that a minus 2 is uh, similar to plus 3 okay shifting two digits to the uh, last is same as the shifting the last three digits to the front yeah am i correct see instead of 
टू फाइव थ्री नाइन एट इफ़ वी हैड डन प्लस थ्री ओवर दिस प्लस थ्री वुड हैव टेकन लास्ट थ्री डिजिट्स टू द फर्स्ट प्लेस सो इट वुड हैव बीन थ्री नाइन एट एंड टू फाइव सो दीज आंसर्स को रिस्पॉन्ड्स टू ईच अदर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग सब्ट्रैक्शन वी कुड अचीव दिस रिजल्ट बाय एडिशन ओके सो नाउ लेट अस चेक आउट द कोड दैट हाउ वुड दीज थिंग्स आर इम्प्लीमेंटेड so guys let's start our program so the first value that needs to be enter is the number of digits and second is the rotation value okay so let us take the user input okay so taken two variables one is the number and other is the rotation value ओके सो नाउ व्हाट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट फर्स्ट सी फर्स्ट वी हैव अ नंबर फॉर एग्जांपल फाइव सिक्स टू थ्री फोर सेवन समथिंग ऑफ दैट काइंड सो वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स सो टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स वी वुड डू वी वुड बी क्रिएटिंग अ सेपरेट वेरिएबल फॉर number of digits so i would be saying no d and for now its value is 0 okay so here we calculated our number of digits okay now what we have to do now as i told you before also our k value can also be negative okay so if our rotation value is less than 0 what to do we would be doing less number of digits as we had discussed earlier okay now as i told you that we need two variables one is the divisor and one is the multiplier both set to 1 why i will be explaining you in a bit see now we have to start our loop so for i is equal to 1 i is less than the number of digits less than equal to the number of digits okay so now see if if your i value is less than the rotation value so for now uh see this number is 5 6 2 9 and our uh, rotation value rotation value value is 2 so now what we have to do we have to see that if i for now your i is at 1 i is 1 so Uh, we would be checking a condition is one less than two. Yes, it is true. So we would be doing divisor is equal to divisor into ten. So now uh, your divisor value is ten. Okay, and your multiplier value is one because it is not in the else case because your else case is multiplier is equal to multiplier here. into 10 okay so let us understand this these lines of codes okay so divisor i i value is 1 so 1 is less than 2 i would be doing less than equal to because we have started from 1 if we had started from 0 i should have done less than okay So oh, i is one and one is less than two. Now i value becomes two is equal to two. Another condition satisfied. Now divisor becomes hundred. Multiplier is your ten. So two digits have been crossed. Okay. Now we are left with the three digits. For these three digits, your else part will work. So else would be having 
वन टू थ्री थ्री जीरो सिंपल एज दैट फर्स्ट टाइम फॉर टू देन फॉर नाइन एंड देन फॉर थ्री सो योर डिवाइजर इज दिस एंड योर मल्टीप्लायर इज दिस ओके सो नाउ वी वुड बी डूइंग इंट कोशेंट वुड बी नंबर डिवाइडेड बाई डिवाइजर बिकॉज वी वॉन्टेड दिस ओनली इफ वी डिवाइड दिस नंबर बाई डिवाइजर सी इफ वी डिवाइड फाइव सिक्स टू नाइन थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई वन जीरो जीरो वट वुड यू गेट एज अ क्वेश्चन फाइव सिक्स टू ऑब्वियसली ओके एंड वट वुड यू गेट द रिमाइंडर सो रिमाइंडर वुड बी नाइन्टी थ्री नाइन्टी थ्री सो एन मॉल डिजर That would be a remainder into multiplier plus quotient. See why multiplier. Ninety-three. Got what do you got as multiplier? This one thousand plus five six two. Add this. This would be nine three zero 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 plus uh, five six two. So it would be nine three five six two. So what was your original number? You had your original number as five six two nine three. So after doing plus two, the last two digits came to the front nine three, and the five six remains at the end. Okay, but what? Uh, okay, first let us check this out. we would be doing this number only 56 293 only i hope it is clearly visible number of digits would be 2 oh sorry i didn't print my result so sorry for that Okay, now let us check five six two nine three. Okay, we would be doing plus two over here, so nine three five six two come over here. Okay, so uh, if we do negative value, so what should it print? Five six two nine three, and we are doing minus two over there, so minus. Two we did, so what came? Five six came to the end, so minus two is similar to plus three c. If we do plus three two nine three five six would be the answer. Let me show you. Five six two nine three and we do three. See, this was your answer, but one case is missing. What if k value is larger than this value? Hmm. What if? What if k is greater than the number of digits? So you need to also have that case also. For that, you just need to write as this k is equal to k mod n o d number of digits. Why number of digits? See, because if you have a five-digit number, okay, and Your k that is the rotation value is ten. Okay, so ten ten is similar to if you do ah uh, ten mod five, so we get the remainder as zero because no effect. If we are doing five two times, the number would not change. But if if we are doing eleven mod five, so that would be similar to our first rotation. That's why I wrote this line. See, uh, sorry. Uh, number five digit number one two three four five, and we do ten. Same result, but if we do eleven, check now. One two three four five. We did eleven. Five one two four three because the last number came at the front. Same as the first. Okay, guys. 
आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज शेयर दिस विद योर फ्रेंड्स ओके थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग